Yeah, Joyce, the protests and violent confrontations have led to new calls to reduce police funding, not only in Seattle, but across the country. And in this city, it could happen sooner rather than later. <laughs> Defund the police. It is a phrase, it is a movement, and complicated to say the least. In Seattle, the police department accounts for more than $400 million of the annual budget, dwarfing community funding or health and human services. Our police officers were earning 2014 salary dollars in a 2018 Seattle. Seattle, with a near unanimous council vote in 2019, has also been offering $15,000 signing bonuses to attract more officers and fill a shortfall. Let's go get more. All right. Yeah. Some folks um, just really are embracing of the concept of a reduction um, in the police department budget and a reallocation to, um, to, to invest in people and um, other ways to address communities' uh, public safety needs. Council Public Safety Chair Lisa Herbold says her perspective has changed since she and her colleagues approved the police bonuses last year. I think this is a really important opportunity to uh, both take apart the budget and reimagine what a public safety department for the city might look like. One of the council's more moderate voices and steady mayoral ally, Deborah Juarez, tweeted she's ready to defund the police as well, but defunding should not be confused with disbanding. There is precedent in Camden, New Jersey, where corruption and crime rates led to the elimination of the entire police department in 2013. Officers were forced to reapply to a larger county law enforcement office focused on neighborhood patrol and social programs. The early reviews have largely been positive. Mark, Mark. Comparing Camden and Seattle is like comparing apples and oranges, but the fruits of that effort may shape the discussion in the weeks to come. Herbold and Juarez both told me today they do not believe you can flip a switch and end a department, but Juarez in particular said a 50% cut in funding in her mind is, quote, not part of the solution, but again, quoting, we can't keep policing the way we've been doing it. It does seem like there is support within the council to end funding for blast balls and tear gas. That'll be something that'll be discussed again tomorrow. One other quick note as well from the Seattle City Attorney's Office. This is also related to the protests that we have seen regionally. City Attorney Pete Holmes withdrew from a lawsuit challenging King County's proposed changes to the inquest process saying, quote, I heard the community's call loud and clear while also taking a shot at Pierce County saying it doesn't have inquests at all. Manuel Ellis and those before and after him will not have an inquest. King County's executive had called for significant changes to how police shootings are reviewed, but that all had been stalled by court challenges and the coronavirus. That's the story live in West Seattle. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.